All righty. So this is going to be a very weird video because I don't think I've ever, th th there's very few heroes in the game that I do videos on that are bad, but could be good. And they kind of are good. I don't know. This is going to be a very weird, weird video. But uh, anyways, today we're going to be using Dire. Dire actually comes out at reset by the time this video is posted. Got to wait like 12 hours. Um, but yeah, Dire will come out. He's actually not a bad hero in the sense of running in support. It's just the fact that you only could use him at nighttime. Yeah, when I say you can only use him at nighttime, that means you can only use him at nighttime. So his standard perk is Night Stalker, which is during evening and night, increasing your movement speed by 25%, which is a decent amount. I think he is a big factor in the uh, speed amount. So with sprinting plus a Baron plus Dire in support, you'll hit the speed cap, which I forgot the exact number, but you'll hit it with dire and support, but that's only at nighttime. It only activates at evening and nighttime whenever it's dark out. There's no like specific time. Uh, it's just whenever the mission looks dark, I guess like, you know, the mission doesn't tell you when it's nighttime, which kind of, kind of bad. Um, and then his commander perk is the same thing, but it increases your movement speed by 50% and it decreases your energy cost for abilities by 50%. He is really good. It's just the fact that he only works at nighttime, which sucks. A lot of people usually run him for dungeons, and I, I was going to do a video actually on him, but I forgot that he comes with a, a whole team perk. But uh, he's usually ran in dungeons just due to the fact that uh, the lab... Uh, well, actually, funny enough. Yeah, he, he's run in dungeons, right? Because it's usually nighttime for dungeons, and it gives you that increased movement speed. Um, however... All the dungeons are glitched out besides the new one, which is the lab, of course. The lab uh, is the only one that works. I mean, he's the only one that he works in. So, kind of sucks. Uh, I remember back in the day whenever Dyer came out and, like, you know, dungeons came out. And it was like, oh, this works perfectly. But he doesn't work anymore. And it's a glitch. It's a bug. It's supposed to work, but it doesn't. And I'm surprised that they haven't fixed it yet. I think it's due to the fact that maybe dungeons is on the day cycle now or something. I don't know what it is. But, um... Yeah, he was really good for dungeons. But today, we're going to be running him in a 160. So, in lead, like I said, he increases your movement speed by 50% at nighttime. And then your energy cost is reduced at nighttime. Which, I think the way they could have worked around this is the moon speed should be nighttime. But his other perks should be um, all the time. Instead of, you know, just nighttime. Uh, and then his team perk is actually kind of nice, sort of. Um, for each hero, hero or uh, of epic or high rarity with at least four stars. That's how you activate it. Uh, eliminations during the evening or night grants you 0.24% uh, damage and 0.08% um, melee life leech up to 40 stacks. These bonuses last until night ends. So during nighttime, it, it's actually crazy. If I can get my calculator out, uh, calculator out real quick, um, if I could do the math. Uh, so I think it's 0.24 and then you could do times 40. So that is a what 9.6% damage increase, right? I did that math correct? I think I did. Um, so yeah, 9.6, so almost a 10% buff on your, your damage. And then life leech is a lot less, which um, is a 0 0.08 times 40 stacks, which is around 3.2 life leech, which might not seem like a lot. These numbers seem very low, but considering that you do 10% more damage than what you could, and then you get life leech on top of that, it's actually a really good team perk. It's just the fact that it only activates at night, which kind of sucks, you know. Uh, and then uh, support team, we're going to get into it. So we're running uh, Wideout Fianna. We'll, I'll get into the reason why we're going to run in that whenever we get to the, uh, the weapon that we're using. Cross of Strikes, uh, Soarian Claws, which is just Paley Luna. We got Tail of Dragon, which she leaves an Energized Trail of... Um, uh, since uh, we have that reduced energy uh, or energy cost for abilities, which is kind of nice, um, like I said earlier, um, for the Dragon Slash. So might as well get a, a little use of that. And then Field of the Fallen so we can get energy back since, yes, it's reduced for abilities, but that's only at nighttime. So, you know, using this hero would be kind of nice if it didn't only work at nighttime. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, that's a loadout. So the weapon that we're going to be using today, you can use any double crit damage. Uh, but the reason why we're running a double crit damage... Um, uh, Storm King's Ravager is because of the Wideout Fiona. You can run anyone, like the Spectral Blade can have double crit damage. You can have, uh, there's a, a lot of weapons that can have it, but we're going to be running the Ravager today. So we're running double crit damage uh, on it. So, you know, with an attack speed and critical rating. Should be fun. Should be interesting. I've actually never used Dyer in his team perk before, so this should be interesting. Uh, otherwise, yeah, let's just get in the mission. I'm going to test him out. Hopefully, I can get it nighttime. I have to wait until it's nighttime to actually test him out. Uh, otherwise, yeah, now nah, let's get in the mission and 
Uh, I'll let you know how long it takes before I can actually use the team perk. Alrighty, so we're in the mission, and I waited a total of probably six to maybe eight minutes for nighttime to be activated. You can actually tell not just only by kind of like the, the, the color of the, the, the game, I guess. As you can see, like the sun looks like sunset, right? Or sunrise, I guess. But uh, there's also like the blue gradients. You can kind of see if you look down at the feet, there's like the blue, like, uh, you know, smoke going around there. So that's how you know. And also you run super freaking fast. Like, like with a Baron, dude, dude, even with a Baron, you kind of like cap it out. That's crazy. Holy moly. That's actually really fast. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to test out the loadout because I want to see how much stacks I can get while it's activated. Now, the cool thing about this perk is the stacks will never go away. They're always there as long as you get the eliminations, uh, which is up to 40 stacks. So you have to get 40 eliminations up until uh, it maxes out, which uh, it shouldn't be too hard uh, with this weapon. <laughs> Look at this go. Oh, wait, I'm about to die. Let me just clear all those enemies real quick. Oh, wait, I forgot I have Dragon Clash too. Not going to do a lot of damage, but I mean, you know, they'll do something. And then we also have uh, you and I too. The loadout's actually kind of interesting. I wonder if my stacks go away if I die. It probably does. Oh, wait, there's beehives. I don't want to die here. We have very limited time. I'm like on a time crunch here whenever it comes to dire because you only have a certain amount of time. Whenever night goes away, you don't have any more. Um, uh, you don't have your, your perk activated and dire doesn't work anymore. So it becomes a dead perk whenever the nighttime's gone. And it just started like about like a minute ago. The, uh, the uh, nighttime started. So we should be good for the mission. Uh, we also have to wait though. So I'm uh, hoping that the mission itself, uh, it, it starts and you know, like the actual defense starts whenever it's nighttime. Hopefully, hopefully we timed it right. I don't know if it'll work like that or not, but we'll see. Um, otherwise, yeah, in game it cleared, took a little, little, little while. I mean, it's kind of nice running super fast. Um, otherwise, yeah. Uh, I wanted to talk about a few things actually real quick. Um, just because this loadout's not something that you're going to run in 160s very consistently. It's really more of a loadout that, you know, for fun, you know, try it out for yourself at least. Uh, and the other thing that I want to talk about, Dyer actually works in Frost Knight too. Forgot to mention that. Uh, thank you, Chad, for letting me know. Um, yeah, he works in Frost Knight. He's not a really great pick for Frost Knight because there's a lot of other things that you could run. But he does work in Frost Knight. You can run him in there. Um, however, the only other time that he will work 100% of the time is the lab. Um, and then, of course, like I said, the Frost Knight. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that, that's really it. Uh, it's actually kind of nice running super fast, like with the Baron out and sprinting. Um, however, <laughs> the fact that I only can do it for like, I think, I think nighttime lasts like 10 minutes, maybe that, I don't know. We should be fine, uh, for the entire defense, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, so far it's good. I mean, no complaints, uh, kind of good damage, but you know, of course there's definitely a, like a million other loadouts that I'd rather run before dire, but the whole purpose of the series, fun 160s and, you know, going through all the heroes and whatnot um it's just to try it out see if i enjoy it and i'm having fun so far i feel like i feel like i need to speed run the mission which is kind of nice you know it's like there's a purpose of actually trying you gotta you gotta go fast and we already are look at that just whoop you know it's actually kind of good for a repair because running around the map you have to get the modules so um otherwise i'm gonna save the rest uh for the actual defense itself nothing really crazy because it's a repair uh otherwise yeah hopefully it's still nighttime whenever the mission starts if it's not, then, uh, well, we tried. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'll see you whenever the defense starts. Alrighty, so the mission has started. Oh, wow, we got a lot of flingers. And it's daytime, so day, nighttime lasts only about, like, four or five minutes. Maybe, like, six. Actually, no, probably six minutes, which is not a long time. So I'm going to assume day lasts six minutes, too, which kind of sucks. I think the loadout would be very fun if it the stacks would stay overnight. So, like, once you build the stacks at nighttime, right, you get the stacks um they should just stay with you throughout the entire time you know what i mean i think it'd be pretty cool to have something like that um a lot of itself is not bad like you know you, you're able to do a lot i think for a repair though that's nighttime you you know if you're in the repair you know when you start the mission right whenever um uh which call it right whenever it's nighttime you could just run around with dire since it's a 50 percent increase and you're like speeding around that'd be really nice uh just to get those modules out of the way However, yeah, this isn't really an ideal loadout uh, because it's about, I think it's been about three minutes since uh, I lost my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my team perk. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I really hope it activates towards the end though, because I kind of want to test it out on the mini boss, but I don't know if the mini boss, uh, 
It'll even be smokescreen. It'll probably be a smasher. My luck would just be horrible. But yeah, I don't know. You, you kind of just have to try this loadout and then hopefully you're lucky with it. It's really not something that I'd run in a 160 though, but uh, I would say get Dyer because he is coming out later today. And he's a really great hero in support. You know, he's better in support than in lead. However, the loadout itself is pretty fun. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm not probably going to kill that and <laughs> someone else is going to kill it. Uh, the mini boss is, uh, something that I'm not going to be able to kill, but yeah, he's great in support. So, uh, whenever it's nighttime, even, even in the, you know, if you're a newer, uh, player getting dire and putting him in a slot, whenever you have nothing else to put is really good. Even since he only, oh gosh, we're probably going to lose because of these flingers. Even, it, even only if he's only usable at night, he's still a good pick for those slots that need to be filled in. You know what I mean? Yeah. These flingers, man, I might have to pull out the good old yeah we might lose this i wouldn't be surprised though these flingers are annoying yeah repairs and flingers don't mix well and we're one off yeah we might lose this mission i would have recommend running this in a 160 yeah we lost it um but yeah yeah and uh, you know sometimes it happens I i'm still gonna post this because yeah it, it really isn't a loadout that you should run into 160 but he's really good in support so you should definitely still grab him he's worth the gold and you do get the team perk that's unlocked with it so not really a big deal I already have my 160s done, so not really crazy, but yeah. Uh, test out the loadout. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Um, <laughs> honestly, this is really more of like a joke loadout. It's one of those like, you know, boop. Um, otherwise, yeah, let me know what you think of the loadout down in the comments. Uh, I'm probably going to get someone saying, you lost the mission. That means the loadout's bad. No, it happens every once in a while. And it's repairs, man, you know, four hits and you're gone. So otherwise, yeah, subscribe down below. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.